With temperatures in the 90s, it feels oh so good to walk into an air-conditioned home. However, not everyone has that luxury. Good Tuesday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Janice Reppold. Thanks for joining us at 10. Madison Porter went to talk to neighbors in Bloomington's encampment on what helps them through these brutal heat waves in tonight's top story. Madison. Tyler and Janice, they told me this heat is no joke, but with the support from the community, they're able to stay cool and hydrated as possible. The heat is always hot. Around 20 people live in tents outside Bloomington's Home Sweet Home Ministries, even in the heat. Perry Payton has lived there for about six months. While the tents can provide shelter to escape the sun, he opens his up to at least get some air. Do you ever put it over to get shade too? or? No. Because you put it over there, it's, it's like an oven. Home Sweet Home Ministries Community Center next door offers air conditioning and cold drinks for anyone in Bloomington. The CEO says in weather like this, the attendance almost doubles. You can go in there, you can cool down, read a book, get a cup of coffee or water or fruit juice or whatever. It's a godsend. And I'm not religious. But cooling centers aren't open all day, every day. Jasmine Cohen, who's been on the street for years, knows that all too well. It's very helpful Monday through Friday, but on the weekend, not too good. I mean, you just got to find other ways. Home Sweet Home Ministries also offers a place for camping neighbors to shower and rinse the sweat off. They provide hygiene products like deodorant and soap. But in heat waves, they look for more donations to offset the increased demand for those items to stay fresh. I think that the people that go by and honk and flip the bird and whatever, they've never been in this situation. But there's a lot of people that have been in this situation that stop by and say, Man, I was here about eight years ago. I know what it's like. It's rough. It's like a roller coaster. You got your ups and downs. As for where they go on the weekends, Cohen and others say the Bloomington Public Library is another cooling center often used by our unsheltered community that is open for a couple of hours to cool off. Janice.